What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how to make your queries run like they used to. I recently upgraded from SQL 2012 to 2016 and while most of my queries run great, some of them are just having absolutely terrible performance. I know most of this is due to the new Cardinality Estimator introduced in 2014 and the long-term solution to kind of fix those problem queries is definitely look at them, analyze them, figure out you know, why the Cardinality Estimator is treating the stats differently, why it's creating these different execution plans, but in the moment when my server is basically on fire because of all these poor performing queries, I need a quick and simple fix. One option I have for that is to change the database compatibility mode back to 2012, but then I kind of lose out on all the new features that I've been wanting to get forever in 2016. Also, I feel like that's just really adding technical debt because at some point you're gonna have to figure out where those problem queries exist and you know why they're hurting so much. Another option is to use a trace flag to revert certain queries to use the old cardinality estimator. The problem with using that trace flag though is it needs some elevated permissions so not everybody, not every developer can use it. So finally my last and favorite option is to use this new query hint force legacy cardinality estimator introduced in 2016 SP1. You can use it just like any other query hint toss it in the bottom of your query, and that one query, regardless if it's in a stored procedure, if it's an ad hoc query, will run using the old legacy cardinality estimator. This is a quick way to fix those problematic queries until you have more time to really dive into why they're causing problems, um, and it's just, it's easy to add it and then remove it once you no longer need it later on. So that's it, hope you enjoyed today's tip and that it'll save you lots of time when you upgrade for yourself. Please like, comment, and subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, thanks.